Sources in China, in fact, numerous sources are reporting that the BYD-803 is about to get its first major, major overhaul in years. And the changes are going to be huge. Aside from the fact that it has much more power, it also will have an 800 volt architecture, meaning probably at least double the charging speeds versus the previous generation, or I should say the existing generation. If you're about to buy BYD 803, you might want to wait for a second and have a look at this because it's um, possibly going to be really good and much better than the existing version. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, guys, it is currently 3 a.m. in the morning here in Australia. I've just seen that the updated BYD 803 will have an additional 107 horsepower. Um, that's a, a huge difference. Car News China says that it adopts the electric motor of the Seal EV, the sedan, which has 230 kilowatt or 308 horsepower. And it will also adopt an 800 volt architecture, which means that the DC charging should be significantly faster than the existing ability at O3's charging speeds, which are, you know, not particularly good at 80 kilowatt DC. Charging speeds should be at least double that. But I'm curious to know if BYD does not change, if it's not a dual motor, it sounds like it's actually just the, the, the standard front wheel drive is still in place. I don't believe it's gone to rear wheel drive. And if that's the case, putting 230 kilowatt through those front wheels, 308 horsepower through the front wheels, it's going to be an interesting experiment. BYD are going to have to change the tires, otherwise this thing's going to get axle tramp. That's a lot of power to put through the front tires. And if you're wondering why I'm saying this, it's because I've owned like, I don't know, 12 different front wheel drive cars, many of them with more power than they should have had. One of those was a Toyota Orion front wheel drive. That was a bit crazy. Um, it was a bit wafty like a boat as well, but I've had hot hatches that have been front wheel drive. And when you're putting a, that kind of power through the front wheels, it can um, it can be fun, but it can certainly cause some issues as well. The BYD 803 has been around now since February of 2022. So it's been out for three and a half years. And it's sold in 110 countries. More than a million of them have been sold. But to be honest, it is outdated. And it's, you know, it's got enough power currently, but range is okay. Charging speeds are below par in comparison to their rivals. And it is possible BYD could actually update the 03 with its new Blade Battery version two. It's very possible. If it did do that, then the range could improve by around 25%. That would be a huge difference. Now, I'm not saying it's going to do that, but if it did, that would be cool. Now, apparently this new updated version has one of the small change as well, which is new 18-inch rims. BYD 803 sizing. It's a little smaller than a Geely EX5. It's 4,455 millimeters long. So it's definitely not a big car. And it's um, when I owned one, I bought one of these when it first came out in Australia. I was a little surprised by, I felt like it was a little small on the inside, but um, you know, it's certainly not an issue for a lot of people. I know a lot of people love them. A lot of people have these cars and think they're great. Curb weight though, is relatively heavy, 1,880 kilos. To give you some context, the new Model Y L uh, so the new Model Y Plus, which has around 700 kilometers of range, that weighs pretty much the same as this car. And it's one size up and has obviously a much bigger battery pack. Anyway, apparently the new version will have a bigger battery. And the reason we know it's going to have a bigger battery is because of the fact that the outgoing Auto 3 weighs a lot less at 1,690 kilos. So this new version is 200 kilos heavier that would suggest a much bigger battery. Now, Cardi is trying to say this, the updated Ado 3 will use the same electric motor that is being used in the Denza N7 Fastback crossover and the SEAL, the BYD SEAL EV sedan. 
Both of those models have an 800 volt high voltage system. Therefore, they expect the 803 will have the same system. It would make sense. DC charging power for those cars is around 150 kilowatt, which is essentially double that of the existing version. In my opinion, if this new 803 comes out and let's say it costs 10% more, let's say it's $5,000 more, it would be worth literally $20,000 more considering the upgrade in power, the upgrade in battery, probably upgrade in range and the upgrade in the architecture plus the doubling of charging speeds. It's gonna be a much, much better car than the existing BYD 803. So if you want an 803, if you're in the market for one, even if you place an order for one, I'd be having a good look at this and saying to myself, can I wait six months? Because I think that's how long it will be. I think it's going to, I think it'll be waiting approximately six months to get the new updated version. BYD won't wait too long because otherwise customers will, will start to do what they do. And they start to go, well, let's wait. I don't want to put an order because the new version could be any coming any day. So I think it'll probably take around six months for it to come to markets outside of China. Big changes though. I mean, we're talking a car that is going to be completely different to the existing model. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. BYD Addo 3 Rival, which is, I mean, it's coming to Australia. It's coming to many markets. I believe it's coming to the UK, Europe as well. Sorry, Americans, once again, you miss out. Well, it's priced from 14,000 US dollars in China. But is it any good? Is it, is it like a legitimate rival? Is it a vehicle you should have on your radar? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. And I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters, YouTube members. Obviously, this is my main job. So anything I get from this enables me to make more videos and obviously to support the family. So I want to say thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon and as YouTube members as well. Now, some videos are YouTube member videos only. So you do get that as a perk if you become a member of the channel. The MG ES5 is, well, it's now on sale in China. It'll come to other countries worldwide, I believe within the next four to five months. Price range starts at 14,000 US dollars. Now this is technically a global model. It's technically meant to be exported to Europe. So I don't know how that's gonna go now that there's these big taxes now on MG, on sake, you know, 52%, something like that in total, crazy numbers. Now, of course, the numbers you've probably seen quoted are like 40 something percent, but there is also a 10% tax on all imports as well. So the tax is quite big, but this is intended for Europe. It's definitely intended for other places like Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, UK as well, where there are no taxes on Chinese EVs.